Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the new trailer for Episode 16, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so in today's video we're going to be talking about the trailer, breaking it down, and we've got some other news to do with it, and then we've got some theories to sort of go over due to potentially some like information to do with an actor showing up on the show and so yeah I'm really excited for this episode I think it looks really good and I thought the last few weeks have been very good so I'm really looking forward to what happens next okay so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video and just quickly just make sure to watch every video every single day it would mean the world to me we've not been doing as well recently and I think that's due to you know everything that's going on in the world everyone's really busy everyone's kind of not in sync and so it would mean a lot to me if you could share the videos around and you know just come back and comment and leave some video ideas in the description below because the flash isn't coming back for two weeks and this is the first thing we need to talk about so it was originally set to air on the 31st of march so there would be a one week break but then they've delayed it even further so this episode episode 16 will be april 7th so the reason for the delay is obviously due to everything that's happening in the world right now we've talked about this before with you know the potential of the flash being delayed for next season and stuff like that go check out that video that is on the channel right now is about four or five days ago i believe when i posted that but the reason this episode is coming out and is being delayed till april 7th is so that you know they didn't finish the season i believe that they got up to about episode 20 i could be wrong about that but, you know, they had to postpone filming, essentially, and so they're going to put some few week breaks, like, between the episodes, so that the episodes continue longer, and so that they have, like, content for, potentially, if they have to cut off the season early, or if they have to, you know, show the rest of the season later in the year, like you know, whenever they can go back to film, you know, once this sort of crazy stuff has stopped in the world. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get right into this trailer and we're going to be breaking it down. So the first shot of the trailer, we got Barry and Barry, I believe, is talking to Iris. They are sort of leaning on these chairs. You can see his speed force has been depleted in the next shot because his watch is like red and that is a signifier of that. And then we got Iris and Iris is worried about you know his speed she says your speed is getting worse but remember this is not our normal version of iris and i'll reveal what she's actually like worried about like if she's actually worried about anything towards the end of this video because there is a kind of big revelation towards the end of the trailer we move on to the next shot we've got barry as he's struggling it seems like he's been kidnapped by ragdoll again so ragdoll returns in this episode and so at some point he captures him i think ragdoll is fine i think he's I guess a little bit interesting compared to some of the past matters in the past but he does pop up a lot and I don't know if I want to see him so much because you know we've seen him a lot recently and anyway so the synopsis of the episode I thought I would just quickly read it out because it will sort of explain why Ragdoll is back this is how it goes after Black Hole hires Ragdoll to kill Joe Singh suggests he go into witness protection but Joe refuses to stop investigating Carver while investigating Carver with Cisco, Ralph runs into Sue, Iris becomes suspicious of Eva. So basically Black Holt is working with Ragdoll, they hire him to kill Joe and Joe refuses to go into protection. So that's why Ragdoll is back and I don't know how like actually realistic this is. Like I wouldn't presume that Black Hole would hire someone not as like professional to kill Joe as like Ragdoll because he's not been very successful in the past with a lot of stuff so I feel like it's maybe a bit like forced in but we'll have to wait and see but Iris becomes suspicious of Eva as well and so I'm guessing that the revelation is to do with Eva because that's been going on for like four episodes or something like that is going to come pretty quickly and I think she may be the sort of main villain for the rest of the season I'm not sure how I feel about that right now because I don't think she's super interesting. I think she's like good right now, but I don't know if I can see her as a main villain. But it seems like they may be setting her up to actually be the main villain for the rest of the season. And so let's move on to the next shot in the trailer. So we've got Cecile. She's being attacked by Ragdoll, as you can see, breaks through the glass. And she's like, holy shit. And 
yeah, I guess this is because he's trying to kill Joe, but Cecile's there and Cecile gets attacked. And Cecile actually gets captured as well. And then we move on to the next shot. We've got Barry and Ragdoll. Ragdoll is like strangling Barry. He's got him as the Flash. Obviously, his like speed has been depleted or something like that. And so it seems like, you know, he's got the better of him. And Cecile has been captured. As you can see, sort of her eyes are like popping out. You know, she is extremely anxious and very much so in fear as she has been kidnapped at this point. And so following on from that, we go on. We've got Joe actually being attacked by Ragdoll. I don't know what is happening in this shot, but he's like flung himself into the air. And then Joe pulls out his gun to try and shoot him. And so at one point, this seems to be like this could be Joe who is being attacked right here. Barry is running and he is trying to stop this bullet that you can see. But obviously, you know, the whole idea in this episode and the last few episodes, his speed is running out. And so is he going to be able to stop him? We don't know. And so he talks about like, all I can think about is, will I be fast enough to save another life in this shot in the trailer? And so the question is, will he save Joe? And it looks like in this shot right here, which is a continuation from the one before, it looks like Joe maybe gets shot or like Barry just gets the bullet in time, but it was so close that it's gonna affect him, you know, like Joe nearly died. And that's due to Barry not having his speed. So he's gonna blame himself obviously. And so the next shot in the trailer, you get Joe as he's in a car. The car's been sort of tossed around and everything you can see by the look on his face. And we move on. You see a car exploding. It's obviously not Joe inside there, but it's supposed to lead you to believe that Joe's in there and Joe's dead. But that's, you know, definitely not the case. We move on to the next shot. We've got Eva and this is a very big revelation. She says the Flash is losing his speed, drain him of the rest. So what is her need for Barry's speed? And it seems like she's just capitalizing on what has happened to Barry with the speed force being lost. And obviously in this episode, I think there might be some advancements in them creating their own new speed force. But nevertheless, she needs his speed force for a reason, right? She needs his speed for a reason. Maybe it's to get her out of the mirror world. Because, you know, it's inevitable that she's going to get out, but we don't know at what point and for what reason is she going to be able to escape. You know, she's got her sort of minions doing stuff in the real world for her that she's able to control and they sort of mirror her, but she's not able to actually escape. So she obviously needs to somehow get out and then at that point, you know, maybe it has something to do with Barry and his speed and why they have to drain him of the rest of it. So in this, she's talking to Iris and so obviously you've got normal Iris in the mirror world who becomes suspicious of Eva. I don't think we saw normal Iris last episode. I think we only saw Eva and like the mirror version of Iris. So I don't know what Iris has been doing this whole time. She's just been like chilling in there trying to get out. But at the same time Eva has been scheming with her mirror versions of Camilla and Iris. And so this final shot in the trailer is of Iris and I believe this is the mirror version of Iris because it's made to look like she is telling her to drain Barry's speed. So what do you guys think about Eva and what do you think about her like trying to drain Barry's speed like what's the real reason I've got a feeling it's to sort of harness his energy to somehow escape I don't know the reason and as to why she's gonna escape using Barry's speed force energy but you know it seems like it's something like that so let me know in the comments down below also the next thing we have to talk about comes from Paigey and so I'm not specifically sure as to if this is 100% true but Paigey talked about this on his channel, so go check out Paigey, I'm sure you're all subscribed to him by now. If you're not, go subscribe to him. Basically, he said that roughly around the time when they were filming this episode, apparently Jessica Parker Kennedy was seen on set, or was seen in Vancouver more specifically, so she could have potentially been there to film an episode to return. So it seems highly likely if she was back there that she would be returning and considering how we ended last episode with Nora's journal being like a key thing, maybe they're going to film some flashbacks, maybe they film some new stuff. So it seems possible that Nora could return in this episode and I think I would be especially happy to see Nora back because I love Nora and I think she was a great addition last season and I've been missing her this season and I think it's, you know, the perfect point to bring her back. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Also, please share this video around and subscribe if you're new as we try and reach 
the next goal. We're over 100,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Just consistently watch my videos. That would mean the world to me. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.